What's good, y'all? It's Cap Hawk, and I'm back with another bang. Make sure you like, comment if you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. And let's get straight into today's video. All right, so today we got something a little different. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go do that. All right, so basically, this is going to be a story time of how I got hit by a car while riding my bike. Let's get right into it. Basically, that's what this is going to be, a story time of how I got hit, when it happened, where, and what's wrong with my bike, basically. I just want to let y'all know. I'm perfectly fine, though. I don't have any injuries or anything like that. Uh, just like a little bit of soreness in the neck and back area, but that's about it. All right, let's let's just start like what we were doing that day. So me, Kenny, my brother, and my boy Jay, and who else was there? And Roddy. We went, we went out to Concord on BART on our bikes and shit, so we went out there, went to go ride. We ended up going out there pretty late, so we didn't get back till late. And we took Bart back on the way back too, but it was just me, Jay, and Kenny. We were riding back. I'll pull the videos up in a second, but we were riding back and like literally down the street from Bart is where I got hit by a car. So we we're riding and I'm just riding regular on the right side of the street. There was no sidewalk or nothing. So I was just riding regular. One wheelie in, wasn't swerving, nothing. Just regular on the right side of the road. And... There's like this lady off to the side. I ain't going. She kind of looked like a tweaker or something. I don't know. She was like living out her car. Her car was parked on the side right there. She was like, y'all better get out the street. And I thought she was like just saying that because people be saying that when we be riding our bikes. They just be like, they just be like, y'all need to get out the street. So I thought she was just messing around. And then she started yelling it. And then I seen like light in front of me. And I looked back and it was headlights just coming straight at me. And I tried to move out the way, like move to the left to the oncoming side because it was just a two lane, one one way this way, one way that way. And I didn't make it out the way. But if I hadn't had moved, I would have been French toast. I swear to God. I swear to God, bro. Bro, honestly, shout out to that lady who damn near saved my life, bro. Like if she hadn't said nothing and I didn't look back and try to move out the way, bro, I would have been done for i ain't even gonna lie i would have probably got caught under that car and all type of shit like i would have been fucked up bro so shout out to her bro but i ended up getting out the way a little bit they hit my back tire and then i don't even know how i felt i don't remember it but i was able to get the security footage from a camera so i do have a video for you guys to watch i'm about to show you guys that in a minute but let's just go on with the rest of it just me telling the story so i got hit I don't remember how I fell. All I know is I fell on my elbow. I got a little bruised elbow, but it's nothing too big. And then I just started running like after the car because the car had hit me, stopped for a second, and then just took off. Like they were thinking about stopping, and then they just kept going. But So I started running after the car. I don't know why. And then my boy Jay started running after the car, got off his bike. I don't know why we started running off the car because I think we started running after it because it had looked like it was about to stop. So we we're about to run up to it and then it just pulled off and then i was like first thing i gotta do call my mom tell her what happened so she knows like that i'm all right and then so i called her told her what happened i was just laying there on the ground and jay had picked up his bike and started chasing after the person but he couldn't catch up to them and then what else had happened so kenny my brother he stayed behind with me and we called my uncle he came and picked me up and then once I got back, I filed a police report. But um, I'm going to show you guys the video real quick. All right, so I'm just going to play this in like regular speed for you guys, and then I'll slow it down for you. So that's the lady right there I was talking about. And then it was just us three. So like I said, we got up and just started running. That was, I don't know why it was our first instinct, but we got up and just started running. I was the only one who got hit. They were able to move out the way, but as you could see right here. So right here is where you could see the lady at. She was right there telling me to move out the road. And this is just us entering the frame right here. And then we were riding. I didn't think anything of it. So this one is me right here. This one in the back. 
I didn't think every, anything of it. And then I looked back, and all I seen was headlights. That's me looking back right there. And then... And then, look, it looked like they were about to stop if you play it in full motion. It looked like they were about to stop, like, right here. And then they just had kept going. So, see, they it looked like they were stopping. And then they just kept going. So this right here is what my bike looked like after I got hit. As you can see, the rim is just totally ruined. I had to go get new rims. I had already got new rims for by the time this video is up. But this was my rim after getting hit. The front tire was like that too here's a different picture this was the night of the night that it happened that other one was the next day so there was no saving this rim the front rim was bent but i was able to hit it and it went right back into place but thankfully there was no frame damage so it wasn't too it wasn't too much like it wasn't gonna be too expensive if, it, if the frame was bent i was gonna have to get a new bike pretty much so let me show you guys the video of it this is the night of so this is the video of the night of, like, of how it looked. So you could see the rim was totally, that rim was toast. So I could not fix that. This one had a slight bend. I was able to hit it back and um, get it back into place. Like I said, it wasn't that good of a video. First off, it was off security camera. So I wasn't able to get, like, high definition. And then I had to record it off of my phone as well. But thankfully, I'm okay. Didn't die, anything like that, obviously, because I'm uploading this video. But my bike was thrash. I already fixed it, though, so I'm back out riding now. Probably shouldn't be because it just happened like four days ago. But um, so after it had happened, I didn't call the police and they didn't come right there. But I did make a police report and they came to my house and talked to me, asked like what kind of car was it because... They had just hit me and ran, so I didn't know what kind of car. I just got hit, and then I wasn't even thinking about a license plate number or nothing. Like It was like, I don't even know. Everything happened so quick. I didn't know what to do. So I just basically told them what color the car was, what kind of car it was, because, like I said, Jay started chasing after him, so he knew what kind of car it was, but he wasn't thinking of a license plate. He seen that it was a, sat a gray Saturn with a busted out window. And I didn't see a busted out window in this video, but who knows? The camera's not that good. So. so I made a police report. They said they'll look into it. I don't know if they really will because, I mean, like I said, I didn't get hurt or nothing. If I did get hurt, they probably would have looked into it. But it was just only my bike, and I doubt they care about my bike. You know what I mean? Shout out my boy. NorCal slaps BMX. If you guys need sticker kids, make sure you guys tap in with him. He gave me a plug price on the rims, um, a set of rims for 150, brand new thrown ones. I put them on my SE, but they're anodized red, so they look pretty dope on there. But yeah, I'm gonna be back riding. One thing I could take away from this is like the first thing I did actually, like after that happened, I went on Amazon and bought bike lights. I got like a bright ass one for the headlight and a bright ass one for the back of the bike because let me tell you you don't want to get hit by a car bro i promise you don't and i'm gonna start wearing my helmet because i wasn't sure if i hit my head or not that's the main thing so it kind of looks like i fell forward i don't know if you could see but my head's right here my arm and my legs so it kind of looks like i fell forward so thank god i didn't fall backwards and hit my head or anything or had any head trauma but i am gonna start wearing a helmet now I have bike lights, so if you ride bikes, make sure you wear a helmet, make sure you have your bike lights on at night. Um, try to try to not ride with, like, less than five people when you're alone at night because, I mean, as you can see, I was with three people, but if I was with the whole pack, I don't think that would have happened because they would have seen more of us. But from the person's perspective, I could see how they could have hit me. I'm not mad that they hit me, you know what I mean? Like, I was riding the street, but I'm allowed to. There's no sidewalk. It's just gravel. But um, I could see how they could hit me, and that's okay because accidents happen. But for you to just keep going like you didn't just hit me, like not going to check if I was okay or anything. There's people in the bike scene that swerve cars like it's their fault when they get hit. But I was just riding regular. I don't understand how someone could hit you and just keep going. You know what I mean? I could never do that. I am thankful to have people around me like Jay, like Kenny, like my uncle who came and got me after... Jay made sure I was fine. I'd never seen Jay like that. He was literally about to go kill someone, bro. Like, 
Same with Kenny. Like, they all made sure I was cool. Thank you to everybody who checked in on me on Instagram. Shout out to everybody who's been watching the videos, liking them, commenting. I appreciate everything. Make sure you guys go give me a follow on Instagram so you can see when I'm uploading because I usually announce when I upload on Instagram before I even think about posting on YouTube, honestly. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see more of. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all. Cabolic out.